I've seen this moody, dark aesthetic look on Instagram now quite a lot, and you know what? I quite like it. It suits my kind of vibe. It's minimal, it's clean looking, it's got that monochrome kind of look, but it's also quite functional. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can achieve this look in CapCut, which is completely free by the way, but I'm also gonna explain why it's more than just a look. It actually has a functionality behind it. Although this aesthetic tone might only just be a look, it does actually serve a purpose. When using captions, when using some form of text on screen, it allows that text, especially when you're using colors like white, to pop more. The darker the background, the more your text is going to pop. So by using this dark aesthetic tone, it not only gives your image this clean, minimal look, but it also makes it much easier for your viewer to read the text on screen. There's a few different ways you can go about achieving this look, so I'm gonna break that down now. The first way is actually not using CapCut at all, and it's actually just using your iPhone or using your camera. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna bring down the exposure. So by using your iPhone, all you need to do is click on screen, drag the exposure down and this will essentially underexpose the image. And that's what's gonna give you that moody, dark aesthetic look. However, before you're like, cool, got it, don't need to watch the rest of this video, there is a catch when it comes to underexposing your image. When an image is underexposed, if you want to brighten that image, let's say you've gone too far and you want to brighten that image, it's very difficult to brighten an image and retain the quality. So that's why my advice would be doing what the next steps are, which is essentially exposing your image like you would normally, but we're gonna then drop the exposure when editing. So let's jump into that now. Now that we're in CapCut, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna guide you through the processes that I would do, and there's a few different ways you can do this about achieving that dark aesthetic look. Now, this is my clip, um, and this is called Everyone Should Have an Obsession, three, two, one, and then my obsession is running. So this is the video, there'll be music playing over underneath it, and all I've done is this is a bunch of clips, and I've created a compound clip. So now it is all one file essentially. So now when I make an adjustment, it's gonna adjust all the clips, but it makes it a lot easier. If you don't wanna do that, you can simply just add an adjustment layer over the top. So you just click adjustment, custom adjustment, drag this over the top, and then any adjustments you make to this will affect everything underneath it. Um, but all I've done is I've created a compound clip because it's easier. So we're going to use something called a hero shot, which basically the one shot that we're going to use as like our base. So I'm going to go with this one here. So let's just find a nice spot. Now, what you will notice with this clip is it's it's dark in some areas, it's light in some areas. So for example, that's light, that's light. This is a dark clip. This is a bluish clip. These are lighter, this is dark. So it's gonna affect the whole thing. So we need to bear that in mind when doing this. The first and easiest way for you to do this, so obviously the initial one was just dropping the exposure in your on your camera. The next way to do this is we go to video up here and all you do is you grab your opacity and you pull it down. <laughs> and it's that simple. And then you've, you've almost instantly got that dark aesthetic look. So if you're like, do you know what? I just want a quick fix then that's the way to go about it, is drop the opacity. I'd say 50% is like that sweet spot. Anything other than that, obviously that's way too dark. That's really dark and contrasty, but 50% is that sweet spot. And if we scroll through the whole thing, the whole thing has now got that dark aesthetic. So that's option number one, if you wanna do it that way. I'm gonna bring this back up to full 100% um, opacity. I'm gonna go back to our hero clip. Option number two. I'm gonna go over here to media and I'm gonna go to library and you'll see up here there's just something that's called black. I think that's literally all it's called. Drag that over the top of the clip. So now we just got this black square, which doesn't look great obviously. I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees. I'm gonna make sure it fills the whole frame like so. And then the alternative way is now we're gonna drop the opacity of the black, um, the black box. So we'll just drag that down. So now we can pull that down to say 50%. So they both kind of achieve the same look. And I'm gonna give you the final way you can do this, which is now if we delete the black box over the top, and this is like the full, <laughs> the pro version. Um, so we're gonna grab our clip. Obviously this is a compound clip, so remember any adjustments that we make here is gonna affect the entire video. We're gonna to go to adjustments over here, and we've got all of like our controls with regards to the brightness, the contrast, highlight, shadow, so on and so forth. So we're gonna drop the brightness down, but you can see it gives it sort of a muddy look, which isn't great. So I'm gonna pull the exposure down or the brightness down, 
but then I'm going to lift the highlights ever so slightly to about 25. To be honest with you, there's no real like formula here. There's nothing where I'm like, this is the way to do it. You want this, you want highlights on this number, you want this on this number because all of your images are going to be exposed differently. The way that you expose it is going to be different to the way this is exposed. This was shot in daytime. Your video, your clip might be shot in nighttime. So this is literally just trial and error and what works. So shadows, if I pull those down, it looks too contrasty for my liking. If I pull the whites down, whites has a good effect. Like that gives us that effect, right? So I'm going to pull that down a bit. Let's pull it down to like 20%. So now we've pulled down the brightness. We've lifted the highlights because we bring those down then it's too dark in my opinion so we've lifted that to give a bit of life back into it and then we've pulled the whites down which has a nice impact on it so that's the alternative way which you can go about it which again gives you that darker look and then the final tweak that i would do here is and i would actually then go over and manipulate the colors so if we go to the hsl we've got reds we've got orange we've got yellows we've got greens blues purples and magentas now the oranges you and the reds on most occasions you want to stay away from because that's where your skin tones lie. So if you look at my skin right now, it's going to fall in that orangey yellow sort of vibe. Um, so we don't want to pull down our oranges because if I pull that down, I turn into a ghost. <laughs> so we don't want to touch those. But what we can do is we can pull the greens away a little bit in terms of saturation. We can turn pull the blues away a little bit maybe a touch more like that and then the problem with pulling the magentas is I've played around with this clip before is if I go over here like for example this clip here look how ridiculous I look I look like I'm dead um, and the reason that's happened is because this clip is shot at night time and there's a lot of blue at night time so I've, if I pull that back in that back in and then pull some maybe in some times of the green I come back to life a little bit. So it's just being aware of these things. Like the, if you don't want to have a compounded clip, then you can manipulate each individual image. Um, so for example, those those changes there would have been great for all of these clips, but it didn't work for that one. So it's just being aware of that. But I would typically reduce the greens because I just don't like greens that much. Um, and normally it maybe pull away the yellows a little bit. So again, it just gives us that monochrome sort of vibes. And this is what the image looks like now. So it's got that moody look. Everything's a little bit desaturated. And then we go straight into the clip again. So look, the blues there for me are a bit too bright. So if I really wanted to like be specific about it, I'd go into that individual clip and reduce the blues because if I reduce the blues on the whole thing, then it would have an impact on this clip, which is too blue and there we go there we have it so now if we go to the back to the beginning if i remove this black box see how much more that like that text pops it just pops a little bit more from the background because obviously we've put a black box over the top of the footage so therefore it's just going to pop a little bit more um and then that's what it looked like that's the end product so we got three two one and then it would just go with bum 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 and it's got that like moody dark aesthetic so they have it that's how i go about creating that sort of dark moody aesthetic look when it comes to instagram reels like that obviously when i'm doing a talking headshot like this when it's on my instagram page and i'm doing educational based content i'm not going to have that look because it just looks weird but maybe when it's inspirational or motivational style content I'll sort of incorporate that tone, that that mood, that look. I didn't want this video to be too long. I literally wanted to get straight to the point. So hopefully that gives you everything you need. If you have any further questions, then please put them in the comment section down below. And I'll see you a lovely lot in the next video.